Alrighty, let's check this out. We got a squashy and stretchy ball coming in. No sound. Doing. And I see it's lost. Wow. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. There's nothing at the end there. Okay, probably just cut it out right after that. I think the general impression that I have is that it's a bit strong in the squash and stretch, and sometimes the timing is just a bit even. So by that I mean, if we check here, and this might be the way you set this up. So when the ball comes in here, see if I can, can I, no, it goes out the other way. If you look at the size of this ball, and then you stretch it, it will be thinner. This seems like an overall scale where he gets he gets fatter, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? If you look at that's the size and then that's the size there. It would be, it can stretch, but it would be a lot thinner. And I'll probably wait till the end. To me, it, it starts to grow a bit too soon. And then here it's okay, but then again, this is too thick there. So here it's different. It gets a bit better through there. Boom. Hold on. Did I change the timing? Yes, it's twice as fast. <laughs> and then there's some moments where you come in here for a storm. And after you're done with that, it kind of, it does like a massive squash again. And this is so low. It's just as low as on impact, right? If you draw a line here, and then we go to where it is now, you can see it's pretty much the same height. So I can see this squashing because of the weight and impact, but then when it's just kind of blah, 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 it will be just a reduced amount of squash and stretch. And again, watch out for just the volume preservation. So if something is like this and you stretch it, it's going to be versus that same width there, just elongated. And then watch out, you got some moments where the ball and the tail just kind of freeze, right? If you watch this and boop. So I would keep that a little bit of a keep alive because you have a lot of general movement there. So when it suddenly freezes like that, it just feels a bit out of place given the rest of the animation. And then in terms of the, the timing, dun, dun, that's pretty cute. I like that because you have good of contrast of height, I think, right? You're at this high. Yeah, just high enough of difference and then when you do this it goes and it's cute like i like that going back fast for contrast there and but then here given that it's such a big jump do something it's high enough right i would probably hold this squash just a bit longer with a slight slight you know, like the last 10 percent squashing and leaning forward and then you go out so right now you're going forward and go versus okay let me prepare and then ugh. And then I will probably watch out for your hang time. I will probably by now, like this frame, this is for me 188. I'll go probably a bit higher. So basically, you want to ah, uh, just kind of that hang time and drop, just just kind of stylize that moment a bit, like hold that a bit longer, and then it drops. And right now, it feels more like up, up, up. It feels always a bit even. So if you can do a bit of a something like that where you just kind of hold that timing and actually don't do what I just drew because it's the same height. Okay, you're good here. That's different. Again, you're a bit all over the place. I feel like this could be... Probably at that point, it's such a drop that it's okay stretch-wise, maybe a bit thinner, but then I would start that stretch a bit later. I will keep that towards the end. It feels very, very... Fl um, Flubber, I was going to say flubbery. <laughs> and even here, the bounces after that, it feels a bit like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not quite that precise, but it, it has a bit of a an even timing sense. It could be, okay, that was that was something. And then, oh, let's try again. Oh, yeah, last one, tired. I mean, like, give it as a bit more variety in the timing. And again, this feels like we're too thick here on those stretches. 
like that especially feels fairly similar to this in the width there so watch out for that and in moments like these it's almost too squash and then the, it's probably also because of the rig like this feels like well the tail has been squashed as well now and i would keep it just to the body and the tail is just there hanging around but that might be an issue because you can see this here how thin they are here the tail pieces and then suddenly how thick they are probably just a something of i don't know if you're using a rig or digital parenting thing of your own spheres because you can you have rigs and then you could just add your own tail to that potentially and I think something here, just in terms of like a weird quote unquote acting thing, but if it's that, you know, it's like even here could be a little bit of pause and then he tries again and then, oh, that's the last one. I think to me, like the strength would give out, hence him going or her or it's going. So to me, it would be your last bounce here would have one more little bounce. It's almost like the ball is sliding a bit to a stop, kind of like. Ugh. it's so exhausted that it can't just find the strength to just stop. It would almost have a one one more little bounce there. Then it's getting ready. Again, through all of these, I'm just... The squash and stretch differences in volume are really odd. Like here, the ball gets very small. And then here, it gets really big again. And then it gets really thin. Like this is bonkers, especially the tail. Like, this feels like something fell onto the balls. And then we're suddenly huge. Like, at, at no point before is the ball ever that big. And then here. It's cute. I like what the tail is doing there. It's like, get trying. Up. And I like the timing that. It has a good little acceleration. And then the impact. Boing. I think that's cute. And just cut out sooner. That's mainly that. I think this works pretty well. Generally, I think I would just kind of push the timing here and there, but I like the little the little looks and little accents here and there. It just gets, mostly for me, it's the evenness of this, the stickiness of this, and every now and then you have a little frame, like when I was saying here, when it locks there. But the general squash and stretchiness in terms of like when we go really big, really small, there's, there's no consistency to it, and I will keep it really, if that, like, that's your, that's your ball, then when it stretches, you know what I mean? Like it would be something like this. And you don't want, like I said, you don't want the ball like this. And then the stretch is like that. And then suddenly we have a squash that's like this thin. I think it just goes a bit too far. Alrighty? Subjectively, as always. But that's it. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.